How you guys doing? My name is Rich. This is Ken. We're from Grunt Style. Today we're going to be going over our body armor, showing you a little demonstration. Our body armor is made from AR500 plates. We designed them specifically with the engineers at AR500 and the infantrymen at Grunt Style to give you the best, most mobile body armor that we can get. So we're going to go over it right now. Okay, so we got our body armor on uh, Charles here. That's what I've just decided to name him. And uh, so we're going to start with the 45 cal. It's supposed to stop all pistol rounds. We're going to find out right now. We're clear. Woo. So that's what it looks like so far. We're going to go ahead and turn it around. Nothing's through it yet, but we're not done. Let's move up to the 5.56. Good to go. All right, so we got three rounds of 5.56, light armor penetrating. Clear. Okay, now we're starting to see a few cracks here, it's starting to really get into it. Again, we're gonna turn it around, see how it looks. Still looks pretty flat. I'm not seeing too many bends here. So, still holding up, but we're, we're gonna go another caliber higher. We'll get it going. All right, so we got three rounds now of 762 by 51, also known as your 308 round. Okay, so this is what our plate looks like after putting those uh, nine rounds into it. Let's turn it over. So as you can see, there's some bubbling on the back here. Uh, however, it did stop the round. So this will mess your day up, but you'll live. This swimmer's cut AR500 plate is triple coated with Paxon. That means it's gonna give you the best coverage possible against fragmentation. We've had these cardboard uh, stands up the whole time, and as you can see, there's no fragmentation from any of those rounds we put out on there. So looking pretty good. It's gonna protect your arms, protect your legs as best as possible against any sort of fragmentation. So we put in our 45 rounds, 5.56 five, and the 7.62. So even though this plate isn't rated for it, we're gonna go ahead and shoot a 7.62 54R, as well as some 12 gauge slugs, just for fun to see what happens. Ken's gonna stack, stand way back there. All right, so here we go, three slugs. There he goes. <laughs> All right, we're clear. <laughs> okay, well, I can't believe it. Here's what the plate looks like. It's pretty messed up. Look at the back, still protecting you. Hasn't gone through yet. We're gonna get there, don't worry. So what we're about to shoot is the 7.62 54R. This is an armor piercing bullet, okay? So we're about to find out what it does. Clear. Clear. Okay, so here's the plate. Pretty messed up. I can't believe this, I'm gonna turn it around. Look at that, nothing's gone through. I do wanna note that this plate is not rated for the 7.62 54R, however, this is still looking pretty good right now. So now what we're gonna do is just have some fun at the range. We're just gonna keep shooting at it until it goes through or until we're done having fun. Now I'm gonna shoot this guy right in his right eyeball, it's gonna go through and hit the plate. <laughs> All right, so we just put about uh, 20 rounds of 5.56 five, in it, so there has to be something wrong now. As you can see, finally, the Paxon's given out. We shot way too many rounds at this thing, so fragmentation's starting to come out. So let's take a look at the plate and see how it did. All right, so here's our uh, plate. As you can see, the Paxon's starting to wear away, but uh, take a look at the back. That makes you feel good, so sure, again, that's not a fun day for anybody getting shot. Just so we can go over this now, what if we put in there uh, six rounds of 45, about 23 rounds of 5.56, five, 
three rounds of 762, three rounds of 76254, which is armor piercing, and nothing's through this thing. So uh, if you get shot that many times and you're still alive, thank God you got hit square here in the plate, but also you need to rethink whatever you're doing. <laughs> Did I get him? Yeah. That's how the Paxon works, just keeping that fragmentation from going out. As the more rounds hit it, you can see it's starting to get out of there, but if you're getting hit more than 10 times wearing a plate, you got a lot bigger problems than whether or not the fragmentation is going to stop. Well, there you have it, gentlemen. <laughs>